be a little bit more solid when it comes to their defense. Uh, they put a lot of too aggressive in certain areas yesterday, and I I'd expect them to be a little bit more defensive today. Cage triggered. Oh, we'll see now. First blood already going to be out. Yeah, we're going to be cut off there, so we'll not be able to get involved in the fight. Site has been taken over here by the attackers' phase, and look at the way the Sinatra is going to be trying to tackle this one with a frenzy and a few blast packs as well. A lot of weakened players as Dapper's going to get right back into the conversation and a flawless, not only on the screen, but just in general defensive hold here for Sentinel. It's going to really just rely on a group up and then a straight up attack, but all oh, the slow comes in! The slow and then the molly to boot. That right there is a thing of beauty. Talk about the symmetry and the timing that they had. Very well timed by the Sage and the Brimstone. Sick, of course. Gonna be playing that role for his team, and Marv yesterday was just unreal. Support is there too to back each other up. Last player left alive was Rockus. That's a 4K for sick. Time does manage to take out the boom bot. Now here comes the push. Dom doesn't really have an option. He has to bail from the lambs. Watch out though for those paint shells though. Could do a sizable amount of damage. They do manage to dodge that. Zom's inside of lamps. Corey's just kind of managing this one. And a good, good challenge there for Corey. Is Sinatra still going to be involved in the fight, though? A few seconds remaining. Zachary just had to bail from that battle and go and put down this spike on the opposite side. Oh, he actually does not go for the plant. He's just going to be charged completely. He didn't quite know where those paint shells were going to land. And at that point, they had delayed him enough Gaskin. And that allows him to get three here. Very well done by uh, Sentinel. Oh. The Sentinel boys. And it should be a comfortable one, just because of the weapons that they have. The boombot comes out, does enough damage, it also gives the information, and Zombs will follow through and get two. And now the retake is just Ooh. a formality at this point, get the defuse. Unfortunately for Marv, he cannot get any sort of kills to damage the economy of Sentinels. 4 nil then. You go in for the push. Yeah, it looks like they're still going to commit to be here, and Satchels will of course be the biggest demonstration of that, and Showstopper being popped as they push out of Hookah now. Can you actually connect with it though? Always very difficult when you're checking various different angles. Marv gets the opener, and the Rocket Fuse ah. will dissipate, and instead we'll just have to plant this spike. But they have been able to achieve the site here, and it's going to be a retake for Sentinel. No one was going to be looking at that doorway. Rock is still watching a flank. Dapper wins that fight and certainly will win those most of the time. Dapper a headshot through that and the retake is just so flawless. Zachary, no options on the outside by Garden and Sentinels as easy as one, two, three. They go in their step by step dismantle phase. Okay, I think they're going to go for it now. So the, wall, the, the smoke has come through. Now they're going to have vision over them. This is just great use of that sage utility. No one's going to anticipate it. They knew that the smoke was going to be there because it always ends up happening. Sinatra gets two. Sick and Dapper are going to secure themselves some kills, leaving Corey, who is doing some business over on the opposite side of the map. Eventually, a Hunter's Fury to come out if Rockus wants to try and deny them. By the yeah, so he's gonna play that shock guard. Dapper pushed it forward. Rockus is still gonna be alive. Perhaps it will be used. There goes the orbital strike though. Now the hunter strike is gonna be played at that moment in time on the opposite side. Sinatra does not get tagged up on it. But finally, Rockus will find the mark. Now though, through all of that, they are beaten up. Rockus has 10 HP. And oh, would you look at that? A hunter's fury on the other side. Zom's just there to receive baby bay. Last player left alive. It's going to be a 10 HP Rockus. No spike planted. 14 seconds and counting remaining. Just got tagged by the location dart. So really, the only plausible thing he could do is play spike and get the extra cash for it. Can't even do that because Sentinels deny it. Uh, now with the stack, this is going to hurt so much. They have no choice but to push forward. Zom's is going to just nuke Mar. Baby Day, Baby Bay does manage. Pick up a kill there, but in the distance, it's going to be Shadam inside of the cubby. Tagged for 73. Needs to be careful now. Exactly but more kills are starting to come through, and Dapper's just going to go ahead and use that neural theft just to give him a little bit more intel as to where this final player is going to be located. He's in the showers, and Sinatra gives Corey a bath. They do identify where he's going to be. They'll probably make this push happen, but Shazam waiting outside of A Lamps. Fire in the hole, played, missed, and whiffed. Zomzo. Picks up a kill. Shazam's now just going to be stuck here inside of Lance while Dapper's on the flank. And Dapper is going to see that spike in a moment. 
Rockets is aware of this, which is why he's... Oh, he saw the tail. He saw the cape. He saw the cape of Sova. Now it will be a 1v1. Corey versus Dapper, two great players here contending against one another, but Dapper just held on to the angle. Completely honest, GB. Yeah, it could very well be a sweep on Bind. And this was the map, as we had mentioned before, that FaZe desperately needed to win because their next two games are going to be on Ascent and then Split. Perhaps, though, people have been underestimating what FaZe are capable of doing on Ascent, but even with the results of the previous maps, I mean, just looking at this game altogether, it's a, apparent that Sentinels are just on another level. And obviously, they don't see the X-rays, but you know that, that if, he, if he had just pulled the trigger then, you'd Your be sound so effect mad was if you were receiving it. You'd be, you'd be so, so mad. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, baby, baby! <laughs> he has no respect. He went inside of that TP room. They knew that he was still going to be stuck inside of there, so it was only just a matter of time before someone jumped in the fray. Unfortunately, though, while that took place, it's Shazam and Dom who are easily going to be able to handle two more members of FaZe. Hunter's Fury just to hold them back for a moment. Baby Bay looked to poke inside of Bath. Ended up not working out in his favor, but Marv, you can always rely on him for at least one kill. Dapper, oh. though, you can rely on him for three. 11-0 for Sentinels so far. Have more support, but they do have a few angles. So Dapper now gets the heals, and Corey, as he pushes outside, made a whole heap load of noise. Zachary alone, helpless, and winless in the first half. Success that one going to be coming from bathrooms, and the rest are going to be short. They're spotted out now, so they need to go soon. Maybe they will get blocked off here potentially there, but Sinatra with the frenzy, he's always going to have that. Rockets, though, meets him inside of Lamps. One player is going to be backed away inside of the bench, which they did manage to see at that moment. Spike is going down. I planted the spike. So Dapper with that spike down and Zom's getting the kill. Maybe though, Marv is going to bring this one back up to even. Dapper has the angle over here by the L box. Trips run again. No one's still going to be paying attention to him here. Dapper just dancing around this and who's going to stop Dapper? And even if Zachary manages to stop Dapper, he still has to worry about Sick. Sick is going to be very weak though. Zachary does manage to get the kill. One player remaining is going to be Sick. He slows him down and he's going to wall him off. Oh, the Giga Chad. He goes in front of the fuse. Oh man. Oh baby. This could be the round when he was pro so fake. Pro so fake. Oh, but he lets go. For a moment, he lets go. He has it halfway. He finally gets it. Oh my goodness. Does he manage to get the defuse? Yes, he does. And FaZe have put a round on the board. Still not safe though. Just traded out. Both Brimstones are going to be down, baby. Bay, there you go. Headshot on sick. Sinatra nades that out in the corner. Does not quite get the kill. As Baby Bay waits for him to push. Dapper is very weak. Sinatra inside of the lamps. Dapper finally is going to get cleaned up, leaving Sinatra just to be the last man standing here. 34 HP with the spike. Could actually get this thing down if he decided to go over toward B. At the moment, they're stacking towards A and just staying together. No time left. Let's <gasps> find one. <gasps> no way. No way. No way. He's got to plant it. He gets the plant off at that exact moment. <laughs> and then Corey's like, oh, got to come oh. back. They do stop it. But just the uh, the discipline there from Sinatra not to go for that shot here. But Dapper in 1v2, if a player can clutch it, it is this man. He has enough health to do it. Is he going to go all the way around through to Hookah here? This is a big risk because if anyone taps this bomb, he is not going to be able to stop it. Knife out just so he can be as quick as possible. Hoping that no one on the side of phase is going to tap it just yet. It is wide in the open. The tap is going to come through any second oh, now. There it is. Left. The tag comes through, though, so he knows that no one is on the spike right now. And he is in such a good position. He can oh, stop no. that one. But in the 1v1. Cypher versus big. Cypher. Baby Bay. He knows where he is. And Baby Bay will get the frag and phase this make it 12-4. Almost clutching up there. I love that play. And the fact he had the camera on site and the tag was just able to deny the showstopper he needs to get this out faster he does manage to do so he will die he could not back away in time zoms kills corey but corey did manage to stop sinatra so that is something you have to be quite happy about but unfortunately though now the tables have turned as the 
ults had to come in favor of this squad of phase it was going to be sentinels that wrapped things up 13 to 5 phase did make this a respectable finish he is that aiming god right if, if he can perform and if he can consistently win 1v1s then he is going to excel on arena as both players go towards short there and leave themselves somewhat vulnerable to be Great taken play. down by raucous not really sure what happened there no one checking the default box but sinatra will at least get a trade of his own mark comes in to try and clean things up which he does successfully and phase put the first on the scoreboard just no enough way. to kind of give them an idea of how many players are going to be there now the on fury is actually going to be in use and sinatra does tag but is not able to finish it up while that's going on rockets does manage to get the kill Corey backs away inside of the steps and will nail a shot there that's going to be a second one for him as well and this is where reyna will shine obviously getting kills and being able to utilize her kit to the fullest potential a round win here for phase on defense they're looking mighty fine now maybe gonna to push towards middle here Maybe just seeing if anyone's going to get a little bit janky down middle. And uh, I tell you what, there's nothing janky about that. Corey, just with some solid shots from the Phantom and able to heal himself up as well. And it's going to be a formality, you would have thought, at this round phase now. Just trying to finish this one quickly and try and take down the remaining members of Sentinels who are kind of scattered across the map at this point. And there's the final one. Corey gets another frag and he's starting to heat up. And I think that is a, a really good thing for FaZe Aseri and... I feel like they've learned from that now. They're, they're a lot more solid in terms of their defense. They're waiting. They're kind of waiting for instead Sentinels to make a move here. And Sentinels have made that move. Sick has got the opener. But then we will see Reyna pop her roll and now see what Corey can do. But Sinatra denies it instantly. And it's all going to be down to Marv here. And he's oh. on top of the wall. But it's not going to be enough. But here comes Baby Bait. Perfect prime position with the op. Yeah, so Sick has the spike and just needed to get out of there. Nowhere real options for him. B-Site is going to be available. I believe they maybe saw that the op as well as uh, the Sova were going to be located there. So with those last two players, wow. you can actually make the, the trip and go across. Zom's in the mid. Could actually cut someone off here if they're not careful. But then... Double fake. Yeah, they're, yeah they, they go for this double fake. So it looked like they were going to commit to B. Another sound has been made. And that trap wire has been destroyed, but no one is really going to take the bait quite yet. Ah, the res? No. It's just not clean. It's, they, they don't have wall for protection. There you go. Wait for the bubble. And he's going to poke and shot and shoot. Gets it. So, in that whole uh, little debate there, I mean, I like of what they were going to actually do to try and win this round out. I have the spike. The options now just become severely limited here. He's got to get this plant off, which he will manage to do so. It's just going to be Zachary versus Zoms. 1v1. This round looked like it was actually going to work out very well for FaZe, but Sentinels, wow. I mean, they just went through the ringer there. Like, so Marv was waiting for anyone that could be rotating from mid, but instead, it's going to be Dapper on the hunt, and Dapper's going to locate these two players here. The stun oh. comes out right at the nick of time. Dapper knew he had two. Rockus, a kill for him, but instead, it is going to be successful for Sentinels. However, and they have to go through Cypher's traps and Cypher's cages too. And we've got the teleport from the Omen right into Boathouse. So suddenly that two on site becomes a three, only eight seconds left. And you have to go now. You need to get the plant, but Zachary will deny Sinatra. Rorcus gets one onto Dapper, and that's going to be the round four phase. Sentinel's just taking a little bit too long to decide where they wanted to go. I know they lost the, the early player, so they were always going to be at a disadvantage, but I would just like to see a little bit more of a decisive nature about them. That can actually punish and might actually opt to use it once he hears his drone. The first kill is going to be coming through in a second. That's going to be the second for him and the third. Maybe a fourth of this player pushes. Oh my goodness, Marv. He wants his ace, but he only has one HP remaining. He's going to go in for the fight and Zachary's there. Hey, that's okay. You'll take it. I was excited for you, though, Marv. I wanted you to pop off. One HP in a dream. But we'll go ahead and take the four for that. And Rolling Thunder could come out and, of course, can deny a plant if they can delay for long enough. But they don't really have the health totals to be playing Ring Around the Rosies and try and do anything. Sinatra, though, uh -oh. will get the opener onto Baby Bay. And Shazam oh. comes through. The bait and switch is perfect. They reposition themselves excellently. By destroyed. And now things are going to slow to a standstill here. But Baby Bay with the poke around actually ends up seeing a player with that jump up on top of that well to then just look and get some vision. Rock is waiting with this angle if they do decide to push. 
They will punish Shazam, who will be the initiator. I would imagine, though, that he's going to try and flash this out of the gate. But Rock is brilliant trigger discipline there for him. Still holding on to this angle. Two players going to be there. Nicely done by Rock. His only player left alive Here. is going to be Dapper. And Rockus makes quick work of him with that Elder Flame up. Instead, they're forcing them through these choke points where there is often an op waiting for them. And Raucus has found quite a lot of success. And now Marv getting a little bit of success on his own with the anti-eco frags. Takes down the first two. And we're looking at a 8-3 for phase in this first half. And maybe it could even be a 9-3 if we don't see Sentinels rescue something at the end of this first half. But it's all going to be about phase's attack. And the post plant positions now can be assessed and evaluate and they can decide where they want to go but shazam will catch one off guard can he get a second that's going to be two ultimates he potentially takes down here will back off but he has managed to clear both of those ults so he's done his job there yeah now rockets does bail out of there we'll have the op does connect but dapper is there to support him sick is just as we switch ends up dying two players left up on top of scaffolding it's going to be baby bay along with Zachary, but Zachary just gets minced right through. So does Sick. 8-4 is what FaZe is going to have to accept. The site. The Zombs is waiting with that paranoia, but doesn't use it. And Sick gets the opener. Baby Bay caught on his own. And I wonder whether that's going to be the cue for the rest of the team to get a little bit more aggressive. They are pushing down mid and towards B, going for a little bit of a B split here. Cloud Burst is out. It's going to force them now to just have to accept the fact that B is going to be available. The Leer blocks a little bit of that vision. That was going to be the only Leer that he managed to have. Dapper, though, through the smoke, connects onto Zachary, leaving Zachary waiting until that next round. Spike, though, will be down. Rockus manages to achieve that task. Some extra cash in their pocket. Marv, though, could not achieve the shots there against Shazam. He'll get the better there against his Counter-Strike counterpart. Rockus, unfortunately for him, had to meet a player right at the steps. And Corey in the back. It's going to get Mollywop, thus leaving Sentinels with this defuse. Snowball, it's going to get harder and harder for FaZe to try and dent the economy of Sentinels. Back away there, the Leer. All you got to do is break that vision, but he still had the angle. Zom's four kills in an instant. Uh, bringing it up to what was it, 1,600 credits is pretty, pretty crazy. It just means that this D site, there's so much reluctancy to push for it, but now the SMGs and the Bulldog doing the work. A little bit of aggression coming out of Sentinels. They find three, make that four. And oh my goodness, kills flying everywhere, and it's only going to be the one remaining player on the side of FaZe. And it is going to be Baby Bay. Will retrieve the spike at the very least. Coordinated push at the exact moment that both teams, or excuse me, that Sentinels actually had. Uh, they brought two players over from Cubby to the double box. Looked instantly. Those players were tucked away in mid. It just means you you, you don't want to push that B site through garage. So it means you're forced to either take middle or A. And it just means you're a lot more predictable. And it means you can set up around that if you're on the side of Sentinels. As now they can set up for this short push towards A. Zachary will at least get a consolation kill onto Shazam. But here comes the rest of the, the crew to make this 8-8. Eight, eight. Are back. They're just letting them. They're telling them, like, I dare you. Go ahead and take sight. We'll just stop you. Now, Baby Bay does manage to take the dare, and he will succeed. Corey's going to be wrapping around on the flank of the outside, waiting, exactly and his patience is going to pay off. But the spike is down, so even with the flank there, it is not going to be enough. Those players are going to be stuck inside of that room. But what matters most is getting the round win, which Sentinels does accomplish. Baby Bay had no choice but to save his gun is sick going on the widest flank of all time. Better call the eSports Awards because this actually might be an award for the widest flank ever. He gets himself too, looking for another one. Rockus is gonna have his blades out, flies up in his face, and he will be able to succeed getting the kill against Sick. Zamzo holding the angle, did give up his position. Shazam waiting on the transition. Don't need to play around these cyber cages here. with 18 seconds remaining. Zom's waiting for him. That cyber cage is going to go down. Rockus. Poor Rockus. No real options for him. It looked like he was very firmly going to be that way after the first map, but FaZe have made a big game of this, and it's not over for them Ooh. yet, especially if Marv can get that opener onto Zom's, and now they can continue this presence. Rolling Thunder will come out, though, and it oh. means Shazam pushes through. Zanatra is there to get one onto Baby Bay, and Sinatra's having a field day with the Odin. No one can contest it right now. Marv, though, doing a little bit of something here. The res is available for Sick, and if Marv can get a 3k, maybe this round is still on the cards.
You never you expect the Odin on a site. Sick does get the revive on Shazam. He's going to bring him back in. He'll go burr right inside of hell. Gets one kill. Looking for the second. That's four for Sinatra. Going to be playing in that same position that he was going to be in beforehand in the cubby. So Sick dies. Dapper will be there to help his buddy out. Shazam caught outside. Sick though. And there goes that recon dart. The spike is down. This could very well be match point though. Rockus. A nice constellation kill will be the last player left alive and sick as he marches up through the steps will beam raucous and give them that match point and many have now that it's not has set this way of also oh, there it is players. in the butt right right on the butt through walls right too i mean that's just that, that's just that hurts you see your chiropractor later on shazam does manage to connect against Marvin. Zoms finds his against Corey as Corey look to get into the scaffold. Spike is right in front of Zoms. They do exactly have that slight advantage, but the neuro theft is now going to be out. Ice and slowed isn't really going to be an issue, though. They have to worry about Zoms first, and then Sick is there to support his teammate out, and GG as Sentinels win 2-0. FaZe made Ascent into a game better than they have in the past. Bye. Uh -huh.